What up, it's your boy Josh back at DM from another video, and today we are here with Hunter Hunter episode 83. Last episode, we had um, another fight with the Chimerians, and we're getting them pretty regularly. Le regularly, re regularly? What? How, I can never say that fucking word, bro. Um, we're getting them pretty often, uh, mostly because we're getting very close to the nest now bad thing about that is, is now that we're getting close to the nest a lot of these a lot ramit has learned how to use nin and i'm pretty sure it's not going to stop with just ramit um a lot of them are going to start learning how to use nin and they're already strong enough base like just just their base form is strong so them with nin is going to be a problem so we're gonna hop straight into this. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all the other stuff. You're just a lurker. I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more Hunter Hunter or something totally different, the best place to that in is always my social media. Link's gonna be in the description below. Uh, and if you want these episodes early, subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, and if you want to talk more Hunter Hunter, uh, you can uh, join the Discord. So, with all that being said, let's get our headphone. There they are. Make sure they're on. The images is on, and let's just get into it. In three, two, one, go. Shit, yeah, he got cold as fuck. Straight molly wop that nigga. Yeah, they all got murderized. Tough. Yeah, but here comes this nigga. Bugs Bunny wouldn't end. She's gonna be tough. Man, so in the last discussion, I was talking about how I wasn't sure if if they would cannibalize Ramit. But the more I think about it, I, I highly doubt it. Um, cannibalizing him just wouldn't, it, like, it just wouldn't make any sense at all. Uh, as I said in the discussion, it, one, it doesn't, I don't think they, they either, I think they would, but I don't think they could. Um, so that's kind of off the table for me, at least. Um, also, I don't think we, I don't think at least I gave Killua enough credit that last, that last, um, fight because that last episode because killer was going fucking dumb let me turn this shit down um killer was going dumb that last episode like sometimes you forget just how cold killer is like you forget how strong he is until he actually shows you how strong he is so yeah props props to killer for just being a, a cold piece inspiration to evolve oh fuck fuck this the um yep the hunter association here we go there we go oh the okay here we go Me extermination of these dangerous Oh, it is Netero. Here we go. Intention of telling the ex Jesus. Yeah. This is about to be tough. Let's eradicate the ants. Okay. All right. Queen. Right. It was queen, what, king, and then... What, what there's four of those queen 
Oh no, Royal Guard. Okay. Squadron leaders. Okay, that makes more sense. And then the soldiers. Right. Okay. No, so the king is is actually a little bit more important. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay. Holy fuck. Multiple? Oh god, this is world domination. I mean, of course, it's been that's been the idea for the entirety of this arc, but Jesus. They're quite literally about to inf infestate the world. Bitch, I know that gum tastes like straight dick water by now. Yeah, force. Okay. <sighs> Shit. Nedro is apparently a fucking goat, so. Nedro might be the only people that. The only person that they need. Three days. Fuck. <sighs> All right, here we go. Jesus. Yeah. Are we wait? Oh, wait, this is totally different. Yeah, so if they get hit. I was I, okay, so it makes sense why he was in so much fucking pain. He was evolving. Oh, sh <gasps> oh, my God. No way. <sighs> Bro, he's cocking that bitch back to Japan. Minky! Oh, damn. Ooh, send him to fucking outer space. Jesus. Okay, see? This is different. This is way worse, actually. Because now the spread is about to be a lot faster than we... Th Jesus, fuck. But this makes sense on like a scale of like how evolution works. It makes sense how that like how this would work. What the fuck? That is a. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of them. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Bro, what are you? You just look like somebody's badass kid. Yeah. 
You about to die. <clears throat> Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> Big frog man with glasses. Okay. Oh shit. Are they all about to attack at once? I don't know. Kite is nasty as fuck, so maybe. Shit. Shit. Kai, you gotta go off. You gotta go off. You got any AOE attacks? I hope you do. Oh shit. Let's hope he actually has some, cause uh Shut up, you about to die. Kai, pull up and dirt him. Pull up and dirt him. Okay. Okay, so you talking a lot of shit. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's cold as fuck at that. He's cold as fuck at that. Let's go. Okay. Now, I know you didn't get a chance to ask your friend because he's dead. But he would have told you. I got hands. Yeah. Hmm. Such a good, a good analysis. Jesus. They even got numbers assigned. No, not a sand slash. Now nah, you got to kill him. Come on. You, uh, hey. Yeah, you about to die. No. <laughs> ah, uh, gone. He's so innocent. <laughs> uh, he's actually taking you very seriously, but, you know, in his own little... Okay, well, you thought you thought it was a fucking game, and like obviously he, I mean obviously he with the shits, bro. Like I don't know what you thought this was. Like you really thought your dumbass quick attack would work. Ooh, oh, god damn! Changed directions. <laughs> Okay, that's cold. That's kind of cold. Bro, because I ain't a bitch.
Well, the rest wasn't me, nigga. Fuck. Homing roll, okay. As electric course matches. Hmm. Yeah, you saying the wrong words, bro. You about to die. You about to, hey. Yeah, um, you better shut up. Okay, well. Yeah, you want to, hey, you want to fight for real? Okay, keep yeah, that's you stupid. That's you. That's you. That's you. Go ahead. Oh, caught that nigga. Okay. Well, goddamn. Well, goddamn. See, you thought you was playing me like I was a bitch. Oh, God. Stop playing with him like he a bitch. Stop playing with him like he a bitch. Stop playing with him like he a bitch. <laughs> Damn. That's 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 not your nigga, bro. <laughs> that nigga was a bitch. <laughs> that's a, what you mean ten times? Mm. Huh? What going on? What going on? Oh. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I think he's just sensing that them niggas are going crazy. Yep. Look, yep, there it is. They going crazy in there. They learning so fucking quickly. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, here we go. They're getting smarter. Damn, smack my nigga. Why you do that? Oh. Oh, fuck. So he... So I, I completely forgot that they had Pokal. Fuck. Oh. I forgot that they had Pokal. That's going to be tough. Well, you're dead. But you said it like you like you're not a bitch. Yeah, you talking like you're not a bitch. That's crazy. Because it's always the bitches that talk like they ain't bitches. 
Oh, he and he Michael Jackson leaned on you. Stupid. Oh, okay. God damn. If I just hit that same spot. Oh my god. Well. Sickening. Anybody ten times stronger than this guy? Okay, we gotta dirt all y'all like really quick because um we we don't got time. We have to hurry up. What's two? A fucking psych, bro. Kite is the fucking man, bro. Bad spin, bad spin. What what does this one do? What is this going going to exterminate the entire forest? Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. Maybe you should get back. What the fuck? What? Oh! This nigga actually exterminated the forest. Oh! When you died? Yep, when you died. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Bro. Bad spin? What is that bad? What's a good spin? I, I, I need to see what a good spin is to this man. Yeah, it's about to get real. Gotta get hard, bro. I mean, hang on. I, not like that, bro. God damn it. You gotta harden your spirit, bro. God damn it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this guy, bro. Come on, man. All this pomp and circumstance just so you can fucking die. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Um. Okay, so I completely forgot that they had uh, Pokal. Um, I know. I, I, I'm i wondering why they didn't, ha why they haven't already eaten Pokal. Like, I was under the impression that he was, they had already ate him. Um. That's why, like, Back when they first caught him, I was like, oh, I guess Poco didn't count. Like, <laughs> uh, I guess he just didn't have enough, uh, he didn't have enough Nin, or he wasn't strong enough to, like, really count. But apparently he does. It's just they haven't ate him yet. Huh. But it makes sense, because there's a bunch. Like, there, there's genuinely a, a bunch of, of, of uh, humans that they store. So, Poco would, could, like, Fall behind the wayside. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, it's getting real. But that nigga, oh, that nigga guy just called. No, I don't want to see a fucking preview. 
Oh, that nigga Kite is cold. He's a cold piece. He is a cold piece. I don't like shit. He is a cold piece. Like honestly, now now I'm thinking about it. They they're saying Netero. Kite's in there. That might be enough. That might be enough. Actually, I mean, we've never actually seen Netero actually fight. Like we, we've had spar. Like we had that sparring match with uh with Netero like in the beginning of the show, um. But we've never actually seen Netero fight. Uh, so that's one of that's one of the things that uh that I'm actually excited for now that I I see that it's actually Netero joining the joining the battle, um. Now, ooh, fuck, actually, because the Royal Guard, we haven't even fought the Royal Guard yet, and them niggas might be cold, I didn't even think, and they might learn in, oh, mm. all right, maybe, I um, mm, might want to send a couple more people, maybe a couple more, um, but it it is good to see that Netero is is like actually joining because I think Netero is is Netero number one. I think he is. I, it's been a while since we even talked about the rankings. I remember I remember Netero saying his rank or them like speculating Netero's rank or something like that, and him being like like Nah, that's that's he's that nigga like for real for real. So maybe. Maybe Netero is number one. I'm not a hundred percent sure, uh, but if the if he is, that might be a that might be enough. It might be, um, but more importantly, uh, with everybody learning Nin, um, I wonder if like the, the hypothesis of of it being a catalyst of like them getting hit with Nin being a catalyst um makes sense i'm not sure if it's gonna work but it makes sense uh mostly because like in like when it comes to like evolution which th that's what this uh that's what this arc is pretty much about is evolution it, when it comes to evolution is that like if you survive something it means that you grow from that thing right so like it usually means that you grow from that thing uh so the fact that um like the idea i, I won't say the fact because we don't know if it if it like actually worked or not but the idea that if you get punched like if you get hit by one of like a nin attack and you survive your you know their bodies adapt to it and uh pretty much adopt it they they adapt and adopt that um uh to that attack uh so it and, it and it makes sense because when when ramit got hit and he was in you know of course it just looked like he was really hurt but he was continuously like hurt um and it couldn't it could have just been like his body going through the changes of evolution because he survived the, the trials and tribulations of getting hit by those nin attacks um if that is how that works how the the evolution for them works that's really cool uh, it's a really good uh way to it's a really good way to once again show the natural progression of power when it comes to the chimera ants uh, and with you know with with the it gives us a reason to actually fear them again because honestly as of right now we're zooming through them pretty like we're just flaming through the chimera ants now granted they still they still uh warrant like respect uh in in battle but we've been doing pretty damn good killing chimeras now grant their base they're just they are just base uh level chimerians but they're still strong the the challenge is going to come when um the challenge comes when we start fighting the ones that know how to use nin especially since those the ones so far that are going to learn how to use, use nin are probably going to be the squad the squadron leaders um 
those being the stronger the stronger uh fighters in general anyway because you know like i said before Ramit kind of gave us a run for our money um so that's also going to be a bit of a problem as much as uh we're doing pretty good now once we get to them it's going to be a different story now uh once again we get some more on gone on gone just kind of uh developing a little bit more uh as a fighter uh because he is very i don't want to say naive like he is but he's very naive like him being like oh hey uh so can you just surrender of course not <laughs> you know of course not uh, it, it, you know, it could be seen as like kindness of him being like having a respect for life and being like, okay, I don't want to kill you, but I'm going to assume Hunter Hunter is a little bit different with that. I, I think it's already proven that it's a little bit different when it comes to that aspect. A lot of, a lot of characters in a lot of shows wouldn't want to kill somebody because, you know, they have like some type of respect for life or like they just don't kill their enemies on some on some batman shit fuck you batman um or something to that effect uh whereas gone has that uh has that same problem but he's beginning to learn that it is a problem like sometimes you have to kill you have to kill people like there's just and and he seems to be taking to it pretty well um he pretty much killed that one guy i think he killed him did he the the i think he's dead the uh, the armadillo guy um but he's uh, regardless he's taking to the um to the lesson pretty well he's starting to actually you know inflict like play t he's he's starting to actually fight to kill um now it there are there were some questions that were brought up um that made the chimera ants a little different from uh the humans even though they are pretty much mimicking and evolving from humans um is that when gone killed the one guy uh the armadillo and the next guy came in to fight Killua, he was like yeah get this trash out of the way um where gone was like yeah, trash that was supposed to be your nigga right like in, in to him to to go and it's like well you guys are fighting you know together so you should be like you should both be on the same page like if you're on the same if you're both on the same page you're both on the same team like you should both like care for each other um and yeah that makes a lot of sense um but it can also be seen as another um another example of gone's uh naivete like him being so why aren't you guys friends well because they suck you know um they're a little bit more primal than uh your normal enemy uh they're more primal than just humans in general uh so you know seeing seeing that kind of there are small things in this arc so far that is like slowly chipping away at, at at uh gone's innocence and the more you chip away at that the it'll either make or break him um i think this is this is a huge growing up moment for him uh that we've been that i feel like the viewer has been waiting for it for a while and you know you have these types of moments in anime a lot but this for somebody as um for somebody as like dense and and happy-go-lucky and um fun loving as gone like you 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 kind you kind of wait for this the difference is that yeah with hunter hunter things are taking such a dark turn um stark you know a stark difference from like a lot well not a lot because we we literally seen the phantom troop be domestic terrorists so um it's not a like a huge uh jump uh in tone uh but it is a you know the show did get a lot darker so uh with this kind of like jump in tone you kind of expect going to have have that make or break moment um 
when learning just how the real world works um and, and if anything that it makes a lot of sense for this to you know because this is a shonen that's like the idea of a shonen is that you know the the character is a young is a young man a young you know boy or, or girl or whatever and the idea is growing up and showing that in different ways usually in fights and battles and stuff like that uh but this is a good way to show gone growing up now um we see more of the uh, chimera ants kind of remembering what it's like to to be to be human because even the frog was like oh, i kind of remember this I, I remember this feeling you know like death murderous intent uh which is uh which is what he remembered from being a human with you know when he got caught by the uh the queen and got fed or got caught by one of the the chimera ants and got fed to the queen uh he remembers that feeling of death now that's immediately um that's immediately followed up by uh kite what did he say let me go back real quick just just to get a uh decent read on this so i don't get the the quote wrong um ba, 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 ba. let me see uh, ugh, fuck no uh what would you do if one of the, one of those bugs cared for its comrades yes so um where basically doubling down on the on the thing of gone needing to be a little bit tougher um because if if it does come to like some of these bugs having actual relationships as we talked about before they are going to plea like like humans they are going to um beg like humans they are going to, you know, be upset like humans if it comes to a point to where you have to kill one of them and another one cares. Um, and going being that, that, oh, hey, maybe we can work this out. You know, it's it's not going to work like that all the time. Once again, this is the real world. This is Gon's um, awakening to how the real world works. You're not going to have that... that um, that uh what's the word chance to to talk it out and if you notice like gone ha i'm not gonna say gone hasn't been in a real fight because he has but most most of gone's like fights have been organized like even this one was organized um you know the guy was like yeah pick the numbers you know and you're fighting number two you're fighting number three you know they were organized events that like had a had like a respect he was expecting to have like a respect for each other where in reality it was just a street brawl like they were like no we're gonna kill you and and feed you to to our queen if we win you know like i'm planning to kill you and gone seeing it as like a, a martial arts match where like yeah us and respect to you my brother like it's not that anymore like it, that's not what it is and when we get into that that nest that's not what it's going to be anymore that like ramit has absolute rage and hatred for you he is not going to sit by and be like ah yes let's 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 tee it up no he's not he's going to swing on you immediately like so you can't have this um this softness in your heart you know it like it's good that he has it like go, like going is a good kid but that only like being good only gets you so far in a fight and this is going to be a fight this won't be a match anymore like that that's the problem with going is that you will have no more matches there will simply be a fight they won't be drawing numbers they won't be announcing anything it's just gonna be that guy across from you wants to kill you you have to want to kill him now 
as we've talked about before, whether he takes that too far or he understands that, that's going to be the make or break. But he has to under he has to at least he has to understand that there are no more matches. These people do not care about you, and if they end up caring about somebody else, I need you to not be, for lack of a better term, I can't have you being pussy out here. I, I can't I can't have you being pussy out here. Going, I'm sorry, you know I know it's gonna hurt hurt you your your kind hearted heart, but you can't be pussy out here, unfortunately. And to be honest with you, with these bugs gaining their individuality, I'm almost certain that um, that they are going that they're going to have loved ones. They're going to for form uh, friendships, and you're going to feel bad for killing them. You can't though. Like you, you, or at least you, you can't feel bad in the moment, and you can't. And when you do start feeling bad, you can't let it get to you. So it's it's going to be tricky this is this is turning out to be a, a pretty complex um arc when it comes to uh um gone's maturation hopefully it's all for the best but as dark as this arc is it probably won't be so um if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too having your quest whether it be more hunter hunter or something totally different the best place to that in as long as my social media links are going to be in the description below and if you want these episodes early subscribe to my patreon uh that's going to be in the description below as well uh and we also have discord if you want to talk more hunter hunter um yeah that's that that's pretty much it uh I'm getting my off button ready. Y'all stay amazing, stay safe, and take care of yourselves.